New Skoda Kodiak TSI Petrol 2016 Review We drive Skoda's crucial new Kodiak in petrol form and find it impresses almost as much as the diesel. Should you buy one? Verdict 4 Star The Skoda Kodiak is an impressive amount of car for the money, and powered by the 1.4 TSI is a smooth performer. For city dwellers or those doing low miles it will be a great fit. However, the torqueier, more effortless and considerably more economical diesel is still a better fit for an SUV of this size. Put off by the ongoing VW Group emissions scandal? Skoda is convinced that most Kodiak buyers won't be, and that the bulk of sales will still be the diesel-powered models. You can read what we thought of the best-selling diesel here, but now we're trying one of three petrol engines offered in the Kodiak. Out of the far smaller percentage of buyers expected to choose a petrol Kodiak, this middling 148BHP 1.4 TSI is likely to be the biggest seller. There's also a 123BHP version of that engine and a 2.0 liter TSI with 177BHP plus potential for a hot VRS variant later on. Here, the engine is mated to a 6-speed DSG gearbox and 4-wheel drive, front-wheel drive and a manual gearbox is also available. With 7 seats and in higher-end SEL spec, our test model will set you back just over a fraction over 30,000 pounds. You might expect a 1.4-liter engine to feel breathless in a 7-seat SUV, but the Kodiak isn't a heavyweight, tipping the scales at just under 1.6 tons in this guise. As a result it feels swift enough for a car of this type, revving cleanly and pulling from low down in the rev range without too much effort. As we've experienced with this engine in other powertrains, it's punchy right to the red line, too. That was driving too up, however, expect the Kodiak 1.4 to feel notably more lethargic with two adults, five kids, and tons of luggage on board. We'd recommend a DSG gearbox for this job, the manual shift is pleasing to use, but the Autobox's intuitive responses make it easier to keep the engine in the power band more of the time. This engine has a couple of aces up its sleeve, however. The first is exceptional refinement at idle from inside the car you'd barely know it was turned on, and it only gets raucous past 5,000 RPM. The second is that the 148BHP version comes fitted with the VW Group's Axe Cylinder Deactivation Tech, allowing the car to shut down two cylinders on light throttle loads to help boost efficiency. Despite this, it claims 39.8 mpg combined, which is fine but unremarkable. But the 1.4 TSI is expected to be cheaper in terms of company car tax rates than the diesel. The rest of the package is unchanged from the diesel, and it remains a seriously impressive all-rounder as a result. Despite appearances it's more compact than you might expect, making it easy to place on the road. Our car did without the dynamic chassis control system, an option we'd recommend ticking, meaning the ride has a slightly firm edge over big bumps but it still controls body movements better than a Nissan X-Trail. Positive, if light, steering and good wind and road noise insulation top off a well-sorted SUV. More importantly, the Kodiak's interior is as pleasing a place to sit as the Superb. The materials are of a similar quality, while there's a sense of order and logic to the controls. Teenagers will squeeze into the rearmost seats with the middle row slid forward enough, but they're mainly for kids like other seven-seat subs in this class. Still there's plenty of space in the other five chairs, while the seating layout is nicely flexible and the boot is a very good size. The infotainment technology is also bang up to date and intuitive, plus there's no less than 30 of Skoda's neat simply clever touches dotted about the cabin. Key Specs Model, Skoda Kodiak 1.4 TSI 150 DSG 4X4 SEL Price, £30,095 Engine, 1.4 liter 4 CYL turbo petrol Power, 148 bhp torque 250 nm transmission 6 speed automatic 4 wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour 9.7 seconds top speed 
122 miles per hour. Economy, 39.8 mpg. CO2, 163 g slash km. On sale, now.